Hi, this is Pastor John from Millerville Community Church, and this is Daily Devotion 148. Today's meditation is taken from the Gospel of John, chapter 13, 34 to 35. A new command I give you, love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another one another. There are predators in this world. They can be coyotes, they can be lions, they can be wolves, they can be all kinds of things. And what often the predators do is they hunt in packs. They isolate the wounded and they wear them out until that large animal can be taken down. And it's unfortunate when that happens, uh, when we get isolated and the predators in our life take us down. But there is another way. The same thing that those predators find in packs, we can also find in the fellowship of believers, those brothers and sisters who love one another. And when we stand together, we're so much stronger If uh, an elk or a deer can find it, pack and be with it, uh, very rarely will a predator attack or an attempt to bring you down. It, It is in the safety of the group that we find the strength and the protection of the Lord God himself. The important part is not to get isolated so that you become vulnerable to what the enemy might do in your life. And I hope you have found Uh, brothers and sisters, they're not perfect. They're going to have their problems. They're going to have their hurts, habits, and hang-ups. But I hope you've found someone who loves you. It isn't about them doing the right thing all the time. It isn't about them always meeting your needs or something like that. This is just about them loving you. They really want the best for you. They want God's will in your life. And that's what they're praying for. And they encourage you and exhort you to follow God to look to him for all that you need in your life. A person like that will see you through just about anything. And you need more than one. And you need to be that to someone else. This is why God, Christ didn't give us a suggestion, but a command to love one another in this way. I hope you can find that person and you keep looking and find more and be that person for someone else. Our prayer today is, Father, Thank you for those you have placed in my life to stand with me in my recovery. In Jesus' name, amen. Let us continue to pray. Lord, we are very grateful for those lives that have touched our lives. We thank you, Lord, for how you have used other people to encourage us, to build us up, to make us be more devoted to you and to lean on you and be more honest with you than we have ever before in our life. I pray, O God, that we would become that person for someone else with all our flaws, with all our weaknesses, that you might use us for your glory to help another. We pray this in your holy name. Amen. God loves you so much, and I'm so glad you found daily devotions in our regular part. I hope that you will encourage someone else to be a part of our ever-growing family of faith, that they might join us and be encouraged in recovery, and in their walk with the Lord. This has been Pastor John from Millerville Community Church, encouraging you as always to keep the faith and to share it too.